Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Jeremy from Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're working on Trophy Achievement Guessing Game for Payday 2. To get this one, you are going to lose your mind because you literally have to have luck on your side to find the appropriate boxes. I'm going to show you some skills that are going to be pretty much essential to getting this done. The first one right here is Dominator. You need this one, so when you're telling them to get on the ground, they'll get on the ground, cuff themselves. You can do this up to four guys. It's not guaranteed to work every time, but it works, I'd say, 80% of the time. On the rare chance that somebody goes against you, go ahead and rifle button them down, which is where you can use this skill. The Pager Smooth Talker, uh, this gives you a higher chance of being successful in the Pager. I've never seen it fail with that skill. Um, this is a skill I have with the Enforcer, which pretty much lets me uh, melee anybody with a lot of force, which is a good one to have because it pretty much guarantees a one-hit knockdown so they don't get any bullets off. Over here in the stealth department, uh, if you're a ghost, it'd probably help to have the ECM jammer available to, so it could quick open the door, and being able to bag bodies would really help too, because it's going to let you hit down an enemy and then throw his body away so they can't find it, because the second they find a down body, the alarm's off. If they find a broken camera, the alarm's off, so this makes it a lot easier, and if you have two ECM jammers, you can obviously jam cameras without having to break them, so you don't give away that you're there trying to steal the server. I'm doing it without an ECM jammer, without the body thing and without the uh, ability to open doors with it. So you guys can see that it is doable, it just takes a lot of patience. The reason this is called guessing game is because you have to guess the two boxes that you need to cut. And if you get them wrong, the alarm goes off instantly. I recommend uh, not wearing any armor. So go ahead and just go to your two-piece suit. Because you know, I got my suit and tie, suit and tie. And then uh, go ahead and equip a silenced weapon so you can shoot cameras if you need to, or the guards without letting everybody know in the building. But it's against you to not shoot anybody. I recommend not doing it. So pretty much what I do is I'm going to come in on the left side. I'm going to find the first two boxes I can and just open them. It's at random. There's no logic or orders. You know, somebody on, on some GameFAQ site was like, hey, man, if you do the ones close to the door, that's not true. Because I did that like ten times and it failed ten times. So it's just literally luck of the draw. So get in there. Cut two cords as quick as you can. And then hopefully you get lucky. If you get lucky, then from there, you're going to want to start casing the place. Uh, behind me, there can be a camera sometimes, so watch out for that. Uh, if you open the door right here, you're safe to go because there's sometimes a camera looking at this door. It can be right in front of you or off to the side. Uh, as long as you're crouched, you can uh, skulk past the cameras. Uh, why that doesn't trip the guy that's looking at him beyond me. If I saw a guy with a mask on and a gun creeping around, he'd be just as obvious if he was standing up. Uh, the boxes can be in multiple locations, so that's another thing you're just going to have to get. But make sure you cut the wire and don't just shut the box again like I do here. And I'm going to get away with murder on this one. Watch this. Uh, I'm discovered. Get on the ground! And this is the Dominator perk. He drops his gun, gets on his knees, cuffs himself. And when he's in that position, the other guards do not notice him. Don't ask me why, but that's just how it works. Uh, be careful moving up these stairs because sometimes there's a camera in the manager's office that'll look at you And there's a camera in this office over here, too uh, But there's another spot for the box. So I'm just you know first two I see you are the first two I cut There's a guy looking at me. Oh, no nope. When you're standing up the alert goes up a lot faster. So be aware of that So I come over here and cross my fingers heart in my throat and Come on, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Boom. No alarm. And also make sure you shut those boxes because if they notice the box is open or the camera notices it, it's going to set the alarm off too. So now that the alarm has not been tripped because you cut those two boxes open, you can go open the server room door with no alarm. So that's the first step. Now you're going to want to kind of uh, isolate the guys, the cameras around it. It's kind of be some art. We try to find the server door location. So this is one of the uh, four spots it can be at. The best spot is the one right by the door you're entering because it's way less of a walk and way less management of camera and people. And that left side is a high frequented area of, um, of guards and stuff. So that's the hardest part is getting back out that way. So here we are picking this door. Make sure that you uh, kind of check around before you do this because as you can see it takes a lot of time. Uh, here is a big note. Under no circumstance do you use a drill or C4 because the second you drill it, it lets everyone in the building know you're there. It's louder, not drill, sorry, uh, the saw. And then the second you C4 it, obviously, it's going to let everybody know. I do not have any of the perks for the drill, but I put it up. No problem. Nobody seems to hear it, so we're good to go. And since it's back in this room, I think it kind of makes it a little easier. 
Um, when the drill is successful, the little grate's not going to drop, so you only have to drill once if you keep this from not going to an alarm, which is your whole goal for this trophy. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just marking the bodies. I'm making sure nobody gets too close so I don't uh, trip the alarm. And I'm also trying to be cautious on my cameras because I don't want to hold a guy up in the camera because sometimes that sets off the alarm. That's That one's a little iffy because sometimes it'll be like, oh, legal activity detected by the cameras. And sometimes you can literally just tell a guy to get down in front of it and it does not catch it. A little buggy. So if you can, do not do it in front of the cameras. So yeah, just this is just a waiting game. It takes a lot of patience. And the more times you try this, the more sketchy this gets. So as you can see, if I creep around, and so I have this guy over here. I'm realizing this is going to be my route out of here because it's the one least traveled. Uh, be careful on the left side because there will be guards down there that notice you too. So I'm going to tell this guy to get on the ground. He does not put his gun down, so I go right in for the melee, take out his shins. No more ice skating. I answer his pager, which, by the way, who in the hell is still using a pager in this day and age? So let's get this right. They're using pagers, and security guards can't recognize guys crouching around with guns and masks on. This place is doomed. Doomed. These G-men are idiots. All right, so now we're coming back to the server here, uh, just checking up on the drill. Because the less time we're in here, the better. The less time we have to get caught. A couple guys over there. I'll tell this guy to get on the ground before he notices the drill and tries to make a phone call. See, if you're the one that alerts them, things usually go a lot better. But if they're alerted to like a broken camera or sound or something of that sort, then that's when things start getting sketchy because they'll pull their gun a lot faster. And you also get the weird thing where you just tell a guy to freeze and he automatically comes out firing. Like he'll literally shoot into the ground as he's coming up on you. Really annoying. Like I said, I spent like three hours yes with this yesterday and just kept getting unlucky. Like I just kept getting the wrong boxes. It was a nightmare. And there's no consistency. I was so I was trying to see if ones would cut more often than others, and anytime I thought I was onto something, it just proved to me that this was totally random, so that's why it's called guessing games once again. So you have to guess the two boxes, so you have to be in the 40% margin of guessing, which is kind of hard if you know how that works. You're most roughly like two, uh, you're three-fifths more likely to get it incorrect, 60%. All right, so here we are, just updating the drill, making sure it's still going. I'm going around. Uh, so since that body is down, I'm kind of policing him if you haven't been notices, noticing. Like I go over there, I just kind of make sure no one's going to stumble across them because if anybody stumbles across them, they're instantly going to call up on their radio if I don't get to them in time. And this is going to be a failed attempt, which I've already had many failed attempts in this one. So being lucky enough to get the boxes, I'm like, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just kind of peeping back here. I'm checking out my exit. and see, I see there's a couple guys, and I'm like, all right. I need to case this out. This area is a pretty high area for cameras and people, so you have to be careful when maneuvering around there. But I, I still have uh, like another ability or two to get people on their hands and knees. And I'm lucky with the camera setup right now, so this is kind of all in my favor. But yeah, this is also done in single player mode. So if you fail, you just can hit start, reset, and get back to it. Stick them up. There's one more. And then I'm going to let this guy get alerted to me. Alright, sucker. Yeah, I don't know about you, but every time I hear that, whoop, my heart jumps just a wee bit. Alright, uh, also pay attention to that balcony over there on the left. Sometimes there's a guy there just watching. And if he's watching, that can uh, set it off. So... This game, is, this this level is like, I'd say 40% luck, 60% skill. Somewhere around there. I'm debating on wanting to like cuff this guy, but I don't know if I really want to do that. I already got four hostages, so I already know I've used up my attempts. And I don't want to take the chance of like putting them down and then things just going awry. So I'm just going to let them be. You know, like the Beatles said, let it be, let it be. All right, so my server's ready to go. And uh, you, you heard how loud the drill was. Well, wait till you hear how loud it is to unscrew the server. Makes about no sense. Yeah, right? Like, don't hear this. It's, it really makes me wonder what they put into this game. Like, like that's some really good drill sounds, but there's no animation for it. <laughs> Uh, whatever, but uh, see, so I walk towards that camera. If you notice, I'm moving pretty fast. Is because I am in a uh, suit and tie, like two-piece suit, and I also have the perk where I can move with a bag faster. With any type of armor, you'd be moving at a snail's pace. 
and you might not have been able to get past that camera. And, if, and in that instance, if you had to shoot at it and somebody found it on your way out to the van, game over once again. So just kind of keep my eye on this guy. Hoping he'll get out of the way so I can get down here. Keeping my line of sight with him broken. If you haven't tell, tell, what that's the good English, Jeremy. If you can't tell, I've played a lot of Metal Gear Solid in my days. <laughs> Whoop! All right, home free. Do not sprint right here, by the way, because I got a little cocky and I sprinted uh, past the gate and some guy in the front lobby noticed me. And let me tell you how that felt. I almost jumped up in the air and uh, fast pitched my controller into my Samsung LCD and that would have been a bad day. My wifey would have been a little upset. All right, all right. Almost there. Still nervous about standing up, but we're so close, ladies and gentlemen. And pretty much when we drop it off, that'll wrap this trophy up. So hopefully this helped you guys out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in to Happy Thumbs Gaming. Check out our channel for more Payday 2 videos yes, and any other videos ever. on gaming. If this helped you out, don't forget to subscribe and like. Uh, check us out on Twitter, Facebook, and at happythumbsgaming.com. If you guys are trying to find us on YouTube, don't forget to type Booyaksha. Type that too, by the way. <laughs> but, uh, type in HTG at the end of your search. We'll show right up. And as always, happy hunting gamers. I'm telling you what, though, it feels real good to get this one. Ah!